My name is Joan Whitson and I'm with the Early Learning Coalition of North Florida. Fall is here and today I'm going to show you five ways that children can paint a fall painting with items you have simply sitting around the house or in your classrooms. For each of these paintings you'll just need a piece of construction paper, some fall colored paints such as brown, yellow, green, orange and red, and the items that I'm going to tell you. The first one I want to show you is this one. And this one was done using a sponge. Simply take a kitchen sponge and cut it in half. What I, I actually glued it too so the kids would have something easier to grip onto. Then I dipped that into the paint and the kids just dabbed it on like that. And it's okay to just use one of these. And the kids can dip it in all the different colors at once because you want the colors to be mixed. And for the trunk, just take a piece of brown construction paper and have the kids cut a rectangle and glue it onto the paper. The next one I'm going to show you is this one. And this one was done with bubble wrap. Bubble wrap is an awesome thing to paint with. Just take it and wad it up like this and have the kids hold onto it and dip it into their paint and then dab it on to the paper. What's unique about this trunk is that this was done by tracing a child's hand out of construction paper and then you cut it out and use that for the trunk. I think that's an awesome thing to do. The next one I want to show you is this one. And this one was done by using aluminum foil. Just wad up a piece of foil like this, dip that into the paint, and there you go. It makes some really neat textures on there. This next one I want to show you looks like this. This is one of my favorites. This is done by using Q-tips. Just take a wad of Q-tips and put a rubber band around them like this and dab that into the paint like so and then just do this all around your painting. This one turns out really incredibly awesome. Now the trunk on this one I just simply drew with a marker. Um, if the child is able to encourage them to do that or if you need to do it for them it looks great. The final one I'm going to show you is this one right here and this one was done by using a cotton ball. I put a little clothespin on it so it, the kids have something to grip onto but again just use have them dip that into the paint and it makes nice little like ball textures onto their piece of paper. I hope you'll try one of these techniques with your kids and use this time to teach them about the seasons and how trees change with each season of the year. Enjoy!